and welcome to my first mid journey tutorial i already played around with it a couple of months ago but i wasn't really happy with some of the capabilities but it seems like the latest version has improved it quite a lot especially when it comes to character consistency and i've also read that they are working on making videos available with mid journey so i decided that i have to invest some time to learn it properly and as always when i learn something new I like to make videos about it on my YouTube channel that are hopefully helpful for everyone who wants to learn the same thing. In this first video, let me show you how you can set everything up properly so that it runs and you can actually find and download your images. First up, go to Midjourney website, join the beta. It's going to redirect you to Discord with an automatic invitation. So you can join the Midjourney server on Discord. It's a good idea to set up an account on this card, download it for Windows, then confirm the invitation and you're in. It's pretty straightforward. Obviously you have to confirm some terms, conditions as always. But once you've done that, you're going to be here. This is the Discord server and on the left you will find the Midjourney icon, the logo, which stands for the official Midjourney server. When you click on it, you will see for example, getting started under info, which gives you a little bit of help, but you can't really prompt anything here. You have to go, if you don't have a purchase plan, to a newbie room. And if you have a purchase plan, you can go to general. Let's just say you are a total beginner and you just want to check it out without paying. Go to newbies, for example, 83 here. And here you can type in imagine and then prompt what you want to have. But if you do it like this, your images are going to get lost and you will have to spend a lot of time to find them right here in this menu so it's a good idea to set up your own server first let me show you how this is done first up check right here hide and show member list at the top you want to see the mid-journey bot on the right so maybe you don't see it it's because it's hidden so click right here on show member list and there is our mid-journey bot and you can right click and we need profile and add to server if you haven't yet set up a server just click here on the plus sign create my own for me and my friends I don't know, let me call it tutorial, server, something like this. I'm going to delete it afterwards anyway. But here it is now after I've confirmed it. It's the MBTS. For now, I'm the only member, as you can see on the right hand side in the members list. Let's get back to Midjourney. Once again, we are here in our newbies 83. Then right click on the Midjourney bot, profile, add to server. Then select your new server, which was the tutorial server. Then confirm a couple of things as always authorize yeah i'm a human and then go to this server just left click somewhere outside of this box and here you can see mbts here was the midjourney server and right here below you can see the midjourney bot has joined on the right hand side we've got two members me and the midjourney bot and now i type in imagine right here and prompt for example robot and it's going to generate this image and you don't have to search for it you don't have to scroll or watch what other people have generated it will be here on your server and it's only available to you when it's the first time for you generating an image this is what it's going to look like you can left click on your four times four image so by default you'll get four variations on your prompt you can open that in the browser but usually just left clicking is enough to see everything properly Top left is one, top right is two, bottom left is three, and bottom right is number four, which is important because below we have a U1 up to U4, which stands for upscale. So if you like an image, for example, bottom left would be number three. So I upscale it so that I can download it with a higher resolution. And here it is. Let's just say, Number four is all right, but I want to have variations, so I use a V4. So this is what the V stands for. It stands for variation. And now it's going to use this image and my prompt, my original prompt, to create a variation. And it's going to give us once again these four images. While it does that, let me go back to the Midjourney server. I go to getting started and I scroll down. And here's a link that's important. It's the link to your account. You can subscribe here for paid membership. But more importantly, especially for beginner, is this the place where you can 
see your portfolio, just left click on it, confirm. Then switch to home and there you can see all of the jobs that you've generated and here's our little robot. Left click on it and here you can download it. So this is also something that you want to bookmark. It's still working here on my variations. Let me speed up this video. But now we're done. So these are the variations on number four and I can upscale them again or, or make more variations. I'm going to go over all of the little details here in Midjourney step by step. As I always do, I'll create a playlist for it. Keep in mind that as a beginner, you can generate a couple of images for free per month, but it's not much. It's okay to test it, to try it out. But if you really want to use it for personal projects or even commercial projects, you just have to invest a little bit of money. There's no way getting around it. I hope my introduction to Midjourney was already helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.